Hi, I'm Andre, and it's time for another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles episode recap. Turtle Power, Broken Foot is the new episode, and man, this episode packed a lot into 20-something minutes. Woo! It started off with Karai and Shinigami. They go to a temple that we find out is a front for Shredder. It's where he keeps all his money. But as soon as they walk in, they gotta fight the Purple Dragons. Even Hun shows up again. It was good to see Hun back. I hope we get to see more of him throughout the rest of the season. Karai and Shinigami fight the Purple Dragons, fight Hun, and then they get some help from Leonardo, who always comes at the last minute. I love they have this running gag in the show now where Karai is all like, why do you turtles always show up at the last second? Leonardo has been secretly helping out Karai and Shinigami take down the Shredder without the other turtles and Splinter knowing. <gasps> Leo, you're supposed to be the leader. And Leonardo's got a new outfit on. He went shopping. He got a new black bandana and some armor. It's very reminiscent to how Leonardo looks in the IDW comics. There's an arc in the story where Leonardo gets brainwashed by Shredder and actually works for Shredder. This outfit that Leonardo wears in this episode kind of is reminiscent to that. They stop the Purple Dragons. They get all the money. Shinigami's like, where are we going to spend this money? And then Karai and Leo go full on Joker in the dark night with the money and burn it all. Why does everyone burn the money? You can't, you just, can't you just go buy like one nice thing for yourself? Them katana blades ain't cheap, Leonardo. Karai is part snake. I'm pretty sure she needs some lotion or some moisturizer or some makeup every now and then. Shinigami has to get those hats custom made. When some of the things that Leo and Karai and Shinigami do end up on the news, the other turtles start having questions and Leonardo isn't saying anything. And that's when April pulls out her That's So Raven powers to be like, oh, Leonardo's hiding something. I think he's working with Shinigami and Karai. No, duh, April. You don't need to be psychic to figure that out. Leonardo meets up with Karai and Shinigami. Shinigami apparently has a PSP. I didn't know that she was a gamer. And he's like, look, if we're gonna keep doing this, we need help. It's just the three of us against Shredder's entire army. That's not enough. Let me bring my brothers in. And she's like, no, they won't do it because they gotta follow Splinter. I'm surprised that you're not even following Splinter. You're breaking his rules. I'm impressed by you. She's getting all like, oh, I like you like this, Leo. And then they decide to go to Almond Chemicals. Eh, Almond Chemicals. Because they figured that's a big part of Shredder's operation. If they can take that down, they really hurt the Shredder good. But of course, when they get there, they got to fight Rocksteady, Bebop, and Tiger Claw. It was good to see Rocksteady and Bebop again doing some fighting. We saw a glimpse of them in the previous episode, but now they're the ones in action as opposed to Razar and Fishface. I guess it's like a mutant trade-off. You get a tag team mutant. But of course, you got Bebop with that... <laughs> and then he's shooting like goo from his belt and he keeps doing like this and I'm just like, all right, turtles, <laughs> take it down a notch. You gooed me with my own goo. Mm. So they plan to pull a Star Wars on this almond chemical plant, put a bunch of bombs everywhere to explode the place. But while they're doing that, the other turtles track down Leo's communicator to figure out where he is and they go to the chemical plant, but they don't know what's going on. So Leo and Karai and Shinigami get out of there. The mutants get out of there. But then Raph, Donnie, and Mikey walk in when the place is about to blow up. Raph and Mikey get out in time, but Donatello gets bruised and knocks out. Bruise Donatello. Donatello is badly hurt. Splinter is disappointed in Leonardo. The other turtles are like, why are you doing this? And my particular part of the conversation that I love the most is Raphael was like, why are you going out and being this vigilante? That sounds like something I would do. Remember when I was going to be the night watcher and you talked me out of it? And I was like, oh, that's awesome. They brought in a reference to the 2007 TMNT movie where Raphael was a vigilante going out at night as the Night Watcher without the other turtles knowing. So now it's kind of the reverse. Leonardo is going out as the Dark Leo. So the turtles agree to meet up with Karai and Shinigami and say, look, we want to work with you. We want to help you out, but we can't do it this way. Karai is like, it's my way or the highway, which is what something that April told Leonardo. She's like, you're our leader. Karai's gonna do what she wants. You can't control her. So when Leonardo finally confronts Karai and is like, we can't do it this way anymore, Karai just slowly walks up to Leonardo and tries to put that charm on him, boy. She's all touching his face and is all like, Leonardo, do this for me for old time's sake. I need your help. Mm, Karai needs you. And Leonardo's all like, hmm, mm, temptation. <laughs> and he's like, no, I can't do this. This is not the way to do it. We're all gonna get killed. And Karai's like, all right, suit yourself. Shinigami throws some bats out and they go away. By the way, don't think I didn't notice that Shinigami called Karai in this episode, Senpai. Did Senpai notice you? <laughs> oh, geez, internet. So Karai and Shinigami decide to go to the Footbot factory so they can stop Shredder from making all the new Footbots. What they don't realize is that Tiger Claw, Roxanne, and Bebop are there waiting for them. And they aren't just making regular Footbots, they are now making elite 
foot bots. They're stronger. They have sensors to know when people are sneaking around. They can fly and they have a completely different design, which I can't help but notice is very similar to the Foot Elite, the special foot ninjas that they had in the 2003 Ninja Turtle series. You're getting a lot of 2003 Ninja Turtle references right now on this show. You've been asking for it and now they're giving it to you. Are you happy now, 2K3? Are you happy that four kids is being represented with your Ash Ketchum, April O'Neil voice show? These elite foot bots are very hard for Karai and Shinigami to fight, so they are captured by Tiger Claw. And of course, at the last second, those turtles show up to save the day. Well, without Donatello, because he's still at home, knocked out. And then Karai again is like, do you guys, can't you show up like five? minutes before <laughs> seriously are y'all on tpt time and in addition to the turtles and shinigami and karai fighting karai and shinigami also recruited foot soldiers for their side to fight the foot bots on the other side Raphael even mentions that in the fight he's like i can't believe we're working with foot soldiers to stop foot bots all the fights in this episode are really epic and they're really good in like showing off uh, when the one character goes off and fights a different character or when somebody is getting attacked by a bunch of foot bots or foot soldiers are fighting foot bots. It's a really cool sequence. Some of the best action I've seen this season. Karai's about to set off the bombs to stop the foot bot factory. Tiger Claw tries to stop her and she's like, I don't care. I'll blow this thing up with me on top of it. And it explodes. She gets slammed against the wall. Leonardo checks on her and half of her face is scarred. I was like, oh man, she really is taking out the shredder now. <laughs> she even got the family resemblance on the face. The turtles and Karai and Shinigami get out in time before the entire place explodes. Leonardo's all concerned about her face and then Karai turns into snake mode and then turns back into regular mode and that's allowing her to heal herself because of the snake skin. So I guess she's gonna be looking that way forever. You don't need any uh, Botox or <laughs> any plastic surgery. Karaj is good. She's like, oh, I got some blemishes, snake skin, and back to human skin. I'm good. Let's go clubbing. <laughs> Come on, Shinny. Donatello comes too. He's okay. April and Splinter took care of him. The other turtles are very happy to see their brother again. Splinter and Leonardo are like, see, this is what we're talking about. This is why we can't have you running around just stopping all these small town operations because people will get hurt. And Karai agrees. She's like, I shouldn't be knocking out all these different small operations to nip at Shredder. There's only one way to truly end all of this. I gotta go after Shredder myself. And then it freeze frames, shing, and I'm like, oh snap, Karai is gonna take on Shredder. But as we remember from the previous episode, Shredder is knocked out with that mutagen being poured into him. So I feel like we're gonna get an episode that has nothing to do with this next week. And then we'll come back to this whole sequence in a couple episodes. <laughs> I know how you do turtles. It's side story time. Man, I really liked this episode. There was just so much that happened with the plot and the story. There was so much that was happening with the action and for all of that to be able to happen in this 22 minutes, it never felt fast paced and never felt too crazy. The only thing that really wasn't explained was why did Leonardo need to change clothes when he was fighting with Karai and Shinigami? Why did he have a completely different outfit when working with them? And then I remember that there's a simple explanation for that. Playmates. <laughs> I look forward to that Dark Leonardo toy on shelves this holiday season. Let me know what you thought about this episode of Ninja Turtles and do you like that they're bringing in the IDW and 2003 references into this show? Is there anyone from the IDW comics or the 2003 series you would love to see in this show? If you're new here, please subscribe. I make new nerdy videos all week, every week, including Ninja Turtle recaps. I love you like a play cousin. I'm Audi 5000. Chain chomp yomp.